Barbie with Jeannie's Designs. And I'm getting ready to do uh, something for my car. And that's a car trash can. I made one for my husband a while back and I just never got around to making one for my car. Um, and it's a Lauren, it's a Mormino pattern car trash can. You can get it at mormino.com. Um, and I am just doing it out of some scrap stuff I have. Uh, it's actually a good size uh, trash can because we, I, we use it all the time in my husband's car. And it's lined in waterproof canvas, and so it, it's easy to keep clean. So what you need are two lining pieces, and today I'm doing this kind of a pretty wine color. And the outside I'm doing this silver color. So for my car, that's what it'll be, these two colors. I went kind of classy for my car. Mm -hmm. I don't remember, I can't, uh, I, for his car, I just did a brown. I think I did a brown basket weave with, uh, I don't know what I put on the inside. It's been so long ago. And then she gives you one pattern piece, which you need two exterior. And this, what this, that's what this is. That's it. There's no hardware. Actually, I think there is uh a piece of velcro i believe let me look yeah a piece of velcro or you know what i might use a cam snap i'm gonna see how that's gonna work i have tons of cam snaps although i have some velcro so anyway let's do that let's and i'm using just a variety of uh um mauve thread uh so it'll be fine so the first thing we're gonna do is, move, oh, so sorry, move the camera. All right, so the first thing is we're gonna put our exteriors right sides together, oh, and you'll cut out a two inch uh, corner on each side of the exterior and the lining. And we're gonna sew down the bottom on the exterior all the way, all the way across the bottom and on both sides, leaving the top open. <clears throat> okay, and then on the interior pieces, we're gonna leave a turning hole. And as you, if you've watched me at all, you know I like large turning holes. So I'll have to see how wide I want that. And this is Ottertex waterproof canvas, so it's pretty heavy duty. So for a trash can, I think it works pretty good. So let's see what we want. Um, I'm gonna leave a really good size turning hole. About eight inches, eight inch turning hole. All right, so on both pieces, down the side, and on the lining, just leave that turning hole, but on the exterior, so the bottom. So let's do that. I don't know what she says for a uh, seam allowance. I don't know that it matters. Um, Oh, yeah, half inch seam allowance. Whoops. Goodness gracious. I changed the oil in my machine this morning. It was dirty. It was very dirty. And I'm just doing my 90 degree turn there on my turning hole. Okay. 
I didn't actually change my oil. My husband did it for me. And he was he was being very nice, but let me tell you the real reason he did it instead of letting me do it. So, he did it because he was afraid I was going to get oil on the floor. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, honey, you can do it. I'm, I'm fine with that. <laughs> he likes doing stuff like that. So that's the lining, uh, and then let's do the exterior, same thing. And I'm just gonna hump, I'm just gonna jump my stitches there. So this is a great, this admit, this is a great Christmas gift, anytime gift, uh, new car gift for somebody who, you know, is getting a car for the first time, um, but it's a great gift because, you know, and I, my guess is there are a lot of patterns out there for trash cans, but honestly, it doesn't need to be anything fancy. It needs to be able to be cleaned inside and out. And so this is vinyl on the outside and waterproof canvas on the inside. And um, good size to hold whatever you want. You don't have to empty it every day or every few days, maybe once a week, empty it. And, um, I mean, college students, this is a great gift for college students. And it's an easy sew. It's a very beginner-friendly pattern. There's no zippers. There's no, uh, really no hardware. So, it, all it is is the fabric. So, all right. So, let's turn, um... The lining right side out. And you can really do it either way, but I'm gonna turn. Oh I got I think I need to do my corner. Hold on. Yeah, never mind. I gotta do my corner. So let's uh box our corners. You just take those and match your center seams, and I'm just uh, nestling my bottom seam on both sides of the interior and the lining. The interior and the exterior, I should say. So box your Qantas. Thank you. 
Tampa. All right, so let's box these other corners. And this, uh, my vinyl is kind of a, it's not a lightweight, which I think is really good for this, um, this purpose. But this is, I have two rolls of this silver. I have no idea why I would buy this, but I did. So I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna use, and it took almost a roll, not quite. So I haven't used it for anything, and I thought, well, why don't I just use it for this? That'll get rid of most of, most of a roll. I'm trying to be true to my word and not order much. Although I have some a pre-order, my last pre-order. That I ordered uh, March 15th. <laughs> That's arriving today. Believe it or not. It's the only place I do. If I ever do pre-order, it's the only place I'd do it from. Fabric Therapy, uh, Nancy at Fabric Therapy has, uh, I'm telling you, her fabric is ridiculously gorgeous, most of it. So I have some coming today uh, from three months ago. Today's, I don't know what the date is today. I think it's the 15th actually, 16th. All right, so now, uh, we're going to turn our lining right side out. This is a beautiful burgundy. Uh, waterproof canvas. And this waterproof canvas I got from um, Robert Colesell Direct. Okay. So there are those two. I'm going to set those aside. All right, so I was gonna try and do this right sides together and turn it, but I started to do that and this vinyl is very thick and it's not it's not expensive vinyl, so it kept um, tearing. So I thought, no, I'm not doing it. I'm just gonna do raw edge. And so I'm gonna just baste this short long edge here short long edge how about that the bottom edge and then I am gonna I'll trim it I'm still gonna do the half inch seam allowance that she called for but I'll just trim it Definitely turn it if you're using cotton or something that's pliable, that's easily turned. Because these are uh, narrow. And if you have something really thick, it's a little harder to turn. Like this. for this particular fabric. Live and learn, huh? All right, let's trim that up a little. I 
I mean, if you wanted to, you could even do another row of stitching, but it's not necessary for me. But it would look decorative, you know. Again, it's a trash can. Now, do you want it to look as nice as a trash can can look? Sure. <laughs> Whatever that means. I mean, and if you wanted to, you could edge paint this. I am not going to do that for this purpose, but you certainly could. I still am glad I, I use these materials even though this turned out to be too thick to turn. Because it'll be, it'll, it'll last longer, honestly. All right, so there you go. That's perfect. Actually, nothing wrong with that. All right, so now grab your outside. And I should have found my centers, but I can still do that. Find your centers on your outside piece. on the top. And I would do it on both sides, just make it easier. And then find the center of this piece. And the centers of your lining piece. Might as well go ahead and do that while we're at it. Now, we're going to attach our arms, or our, it goes around the headrest. We're going to attach that right sides together. With our exterior piece. And I just centered it on my center marks. And then we're going to baste that in place. You can use Velcro, you could use a magnetic snap, you could use a cam snap, which is a plastic snap. I mean, uh, there's a variety of ways you could close this around your headrest. I think I do have Velcro on the one uh, for my husband. All right, so let's put the lining inside, and so it'll end up being right sides together. And let's match up our centers and our sides. And we'll clip that all the way around.
this is a, depending on your material, this is a very domestic friendly pattern as well. And I'm just nestling these side seams just to decrease the bulk a little bit. use a quarter inch just because it would make it just a little bit half a quarter inch deeper which I like I mean the biggest thing we put in our trash cans is water bottles yeah. huh. so the deeper the better side out and we'll finish it with whatever I can't I haven't decided yeah Actually make some of these for gifts we're getting ready to go to Kansas City here in, the, in a little bit to see my nephew or my nieces and son my grand nephew I might make some of these I'm always making those kids something This is just perfect for my car. All right, I am gonna close this turning hole.
Okay, let's close that up. the inside and the outside and then we'll do a top stitch and then we'll decide how we want to uh, close it for my bag. and making that loud noise. Now on this back part, because you can't really see, just pull it uh, taut and you should be okay. But I'm gonna start in the, I'm gonna start actually over here on the side. I can't hear it, but my machine, after since we changed the oil and I oiled everything, is purring. I mean, it's an industrial machine, and they always sound a little rough, but. Um, should have put something under my uh, foot. Man, this is cheap vinyl. I'm so glad I'm using it. For me and not for somebody else. It wouldn't withstand anything. That's all right. 
Good to know. Really cheapo. Okay, so there is our trash can. Oops, I'm so sorry I hit the camera. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that. It's huge. All right, and so in this goes around like this and hangs on your, uh, behind your headrest. So, I think I am just going to use a cam snap. This will be fine since there's no, um, there's no, uh, I'm going to use black. There's no interfacing there, so it's not really thick. Let's see. Let's see how that's going to do. And so, I don't think she tells you where to put the holes. Yeah, she says use a, a Velcro. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hold it together like that and just put my snap. Hmm, I don't need to over apply it by that much. I'm, I'm overlapping it about three quarters of an inch and then I'll um, put my snap in right in the center <laughs> this is gonna be so cute oh gosh all right so let's think about this so you want to have one on this side, and in this purpose, it doesn't matter if it's the male or the female on which side. Okay. And then it needs to come and snap like that. Oops. So just think about how you're putting your snaps in. So I've got my, it's, I want it to go like this. So I've got my one part of my snap. This is actually the male part of my snap. And then I will, without twisting it, I want it to snap on this. So that's the female part of my snap. Let's see how it did. Perfect. Perfect. All right, let me turn you around, hold on. All right, here it is. So this, it'll hang. So here's my headrest. It'll hang like this and you can just put whatever you want in it. Now you could, if you want, to put a snap on the inside there. Uh, we don't have one on the one in my husband's car and uh, you don't need it. So there you go. Isn't that cute? Nice silver. Um, I would use, I would probably use a higher quality vinyl, but it's a trash can, so it doesn't really matter. But this vinyl, ugh awful actually so I don't know how long it'll last but uh, the waterproof canvas is perfect it's huge all right there is the car trash can by Mormino Lauren Mormino and um, you can go get it her measurements say it's 12 by 12 by 4 very beginner friendly. All you need is a piece of Velcro or a snap, or you could use a magnetic snap there. 
Um, there you go. I'll link the, the uh, pattern in the description. So just a quick little video for today. Um, I'm not really sure what my next project is, um, but um, if you have a suggestion, I mean, I have a list of things I, I want to do. So if you have a suggestion, please feel free to uh, send me an email. My email can be found on YouTube on the About page. And it says, click for email. If you just click on that, um, you can email me. Or you can send me uh, a message on the Facebook group, Jeannie's Design. So come join. Let's see what you're making. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye. So there it is, guys. Uh, that's the passenger seat since I usually drive this car. Um, not very often, but there it is. So when I said earlier about you having a snap right here, you could. I personally like to have it open so I can put things in it from the front seat. So that's what it looks like. It's just around that headrest. And you can't even see the um, this from the front. So there it is. Go make one. Thanks, guys.